Welcome to Bread and Butter Chats. I'm Tawala Fatuatua, PMN's political reporter. We're here in Blockhouse Bay and we're going to talk to New Zealand First Pacific candidate Anne de Gia Bala. Come with me and let's get to know Anne a little bit better. Uh, my name is Anne de Gia Bala, commonly known as Anne Pala. I'm a candidate for New Zealand First Party uh, for Kelston, uh, but I am going for the party vote, so. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to your support, but thank you again for having me on here. What spread did you bring in and why is it your favourite? The real spread is the real butter, you know, the block butter. You can't take that out of me because I am from the Pacific, I am a Fiji Indian, you know, and I love my butter. Yeah. You know, there was a time when we thought bread and butter was like right there in the, you know, in the basics. Bread and butter is no longer the basic staple for people. I think bread and butter has become luxury items now. What are the bread and butter issues you think Pacific voters are most concerned about? Yeah. And the things that our community is concerned about is obviously the cost of living with the high inflation, affordability, rent, crime, retail crime, crime on the streets. New Zealand First has got five planks to work with. So we are committed to um, reducing crime, bringing opportunities for everyone that's in health, education, uh, infrastructure. Seniors need to, look, to be looked after because they've looked after this country for many, many years, including Pacific people who've come here over many years. For the aspirations that we all want our children to get to, education is a good start, it's a great start. What's your why? 23 years ago, I lost my son in a car crash. That took me to community. And I've never looked back because community gave me something that made me carry on. I remember even as a little girl, three years old, you know, my mom used to open our home on a Sunday for people to come and have food at our place because we live very close to an old people's home in Fiji. That's where we learned, you know. My why is, to, is about service. How are you feeling about your upcoming election race and your opponents? I'm feeling very positive. I don't see anyone as an opponent. Yes, we're all different parties, but I think everyone wants to contribute something, therefore they put their hand up. It's not easy to stand as a candidate because you need resources, you need support from people, um, and you need time. I have that. And that is the reason why I want to do this. I have the support of my very good husband, but I have a whole family with New Zealand First who have been so kind to me in my time of grief and continue to be you know, there as and when I need them. So we are like a big family.